Hello Year 6, welcome to your maths video for Friday. Um, I have got a different starter for you today. I hope you all enjoyed doing your Kahoot quiz yesterday. I loved seeing everybody that had had a good go and there was lots of 100% so well done. Brilliant job, I might have to make it a little bit harder for you next time. So your uh, starter for today is a countdown challenge. So we've done this a couple of times in school for a morning task. So you might be quite familiar with it. So I've got a website that's going to generate our numbers. I'm going to do one with you, give you a number and a challenge to have a go at. But then I will send the link out this morning on Marvellous Me with your video with your video link um, so that you can have a go and do some different numbers if you want to. So let's have a look. So I've got to pick my numbers first. So oh, I've got two ones. Okay, right, let's see what number it gives us. So we've got to press stop. Oh, okay, 610. So that is your challenge. So you've got to try and make the number 610 using these numbers. Now remember, you can use any of the operations. So you can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, but you can only use the numbers once. Okay, so that's your challenge. Okay, so have a good go at that. Take a picture of it for me and include it on your email for today. Um, and then you can follow the link and have a go at some other ones if you want to. Okay, so jot those numbers down, pause the video and have a good go. Okay, your work for today then. So, we are moving on today. We're still in our same... Um, in the same book in our stretch book, so in this one, okay, and we're moving on to pages 60 and 61. Your learning question for today then is, can I show an understanding of the parts of a circle? Okay, now we've gone over this a little bit recently um, in our other workbook, um, but I just want to make sure we are definitely secure before we move on. Okay, so before we start, I just want to go over the, lay, the part of a circle for you, because you're going to need these quite a lot today. So, remember, the full outside edge of a circle, so all the way around, is the circumference. Okay? From one side of the circle right the way over to the other side of the circle is the diameter. And then from the centre of the circle to the edge, it's the radius. Okay? So, if you were given a question... And it said the radius is um, nine centimeters. So we know that this is nine, but we've got to work out the diameter. And I can see that this is half of the diameter, isn't it? Okay, so to work out the diameter then, if you've been given the radius, we need to mu uh, multiply it by two. We need to double it. Okay, so double of nine is 18. Okay. So the diameter would be 18 centimetres. Okay. And then if we're going the other way, we just do the opposite. Okay. So if you've been given the diameter of um, 24 Okay, if this is the full way along the circle and this is only halfway, then to work out this, we just need to half it, don't we, or divide it by two. So my radius then oh, excuse my handwriting there. My radius would be 12 centimetres, because half of 24 is 12, okay? So, just before we move on to working our book then, I just want you to practice that, and I have got two questions for you to have a go at. So you could just do these on a piece of paper, just to show me that you understand how to work out the radius and the diameter of a circle. So the first one is a bicycle wheel has a diameter of 64 centimetres. What is the radius of the bicycle wheel. Okay, so remember, have a think, which one was the radius, which one was the diameter. Number two then, a steering wheel has a radius of 12 centimetres. 
What is the diameter of the steering wheel? Well, they don't just take the wheel. Okay. So you have a go at those. And then don't forget to set, take a picture and include that on your work for today. Okay, so let's have a look at work in your book then. So turn to page 60. I'm going to go through some of the questions with you and give you some hints and tips so that you can work them out. So question one says, Catherine makes a banner using 28 identical paper circles. Each line has a radius, sorry, each circle has a radius of six centimetres and she sticks them together in a line, leaving no gaps between the circles. How long is her banner? So, I've already gone through and highlighted our key vocabulary. So I've got 28 because that's how we need to know how many circles there are. And identical, so identical means they are all exactly the same width. They are all exactly the same size, okay? That's quite important, we're gonna to need to know that. Um, they've got a radius of six and we need to know how long the banner is, okay? So, if you know that the radius is six, let's write that on here, then before you can work out the length of her banner, you need to know what the diameter is. Okay, and we've just practiced, haven't we? Changing from radius to diameter. So you have a go at that. So work out the diameter of each circle. Once you've got that, you then need to multiply your answer by how many circles you have got. Okay, so work out your diameter and then multiply it by how many circles you've got. So work out how long the banner is. Okay. On the next one then, it says each circle in the diagram below has a diameter of four centimetres. Find the total area of the diagram. Okay, so we know then that the diameter is the full width of a circle, isn't it? So this full width here is four centimetres. Okay, now that full width there is the same width as our square. So we know that this outside edge is four. We also know that squares have got equal sides, haven't they? So if this side is four, then this side is four, okay? Now, a little tip for you today to work this one out is to split this diagram up into squares. So you go, if you just draw some lines along there, it splits it up into one, two, three, four, five different squares. If you work out the area for each one of those and then multiply it, that will give you your answer. So to work out the area, remember, we need to multiply these two sides together, don't we? So the area for one square would be 16 centimetres squared. Okay, now you can use that to multiply it, multiply it by how many squares there are, and that will give you your answer. Okay, you have a go at that one then. Number three then. Oops. Hello. Number three says the rug below has a pattern of four circles on it. The quarter circles are made from a circle with a radius of one. 0.5 meters. Find the area and perimeter of the rug. Okay, so if they've got a radius of 1.5, then this part here is going to be 1.5 meters. This part here is also going to be 1.5 meters. Okay, so if you add 1.5 and 1.5 together, that will give you this side okay and then this side is going to be the exact same so once you've worked that one out that one is the same so to work out the area you just need to multiply this and this yeah the length by the width so remember multiply the length by the width and that will give you the area okay once you've got those two sides then, that can help you work out your perimeter. 
Remember, for a perimeter, you just need to add this one, this one, this one, and this one together. Remember, the perimeter is the outside edge. So just add all of those numbers together. Okay? And remember, it is a square. So if that one is that and that is the same, then that's going to be the same and so is that. Okay? You have a go at that one then. So number four then on your next page says, Stephen makes the photo frame shown below by cutting up circles, each with a radius of 10 centimetres and then sticking them together. Find the perimeter of the space where the photograph fits. Okay, so we've been given the radius. So remember the radius is this part, isn't it? From the middle to the outer edge. So we're going to have to work out the diameter. So remember, oh, one second. To work out the diameter, we need to multiply it by two, don't we? One second. So the diameter would be 10 times two. Okay, we know what that is. We know it's 20, don't we? Okay, so one full width of a circle is 20. So that one's going to be 20. That one's going to be 20. This one isn't a full one though, is it? This one at the edge is not a full one, so that's going to be half of one. So that's 10 and that's 10. Okay, so now you can work out what your width of your rectangle is by adding all of those together. Okay, so you need to do 20, add 20, add 10, add 10, and that will give you your width. Okay. Your height then is this side, and they are just the same measurements. So this one is a full half again, a full circle, sorry. That one would be 20, that one would be 10, and that one would be 10. So now you've got those, you can do 20, add 10, add 10, and that will give you your height. Okay? So work out your height and your width, and then you'll go back to your question. It says, find the perimeter of the space where the photograph fits. So once you've got this one, once you've got this one here, that's going to be the same as that. And once you've got that one, it's going to be the same as that. So then you can add them up. To work out your perimeter okay the next one then is using the same diagram it says what is the maximum number of small photographs measuring six centimeters by five centimeters he could fit inside okay i'm going to tell you how to do this one because it's quite tricky so i've written on the measurements that we've just worked out in the previous question so our width was 60 centimeters and our height was 40 centimetres. Okay, so we had a measurement of six by five, didn't we? So you need to do 60 divided by six. Okay, and that will tell you how many photos across you can fit in. If then you need to do the 40, this 40, divided by the five, and that will tell you how many photos up you can fit in. And if you multiply those two numbers, that will tell you your answer, okay? One last one then, you have got a challenge question, and this is the bit at the bottom that is in the dotted box. So it says, Draw around some objects with circular bases on paper. So these can just be things that you can find in your home. So I think in your kitchen would be a good place to look for circular things. So look for um, maybe jars of things, pots. Have a look around, see what you can find. So it says, draw around them and cut the circles out. Fold the circles in half to measure them and write each circle's diameter on it. Okay, so you are going to have to use your ruler to measure across. Hopefully, you've all got a ruler at home. And then, so you're working out your diameter. Then once you've worked out your diameter, you can half it and work out your radius. Okay.
Okay, and then he says, try measuring the circumference of each circle using some string and a ruler. What do you notice about how the diameter of each circle compares to the circumference? So we haven't done much work on circumference. So this challenge is asking you to find some string if you've got some at home, or you could use something similar. So you could use um, a ribbon maybe, or something similar. So when you've cut a circle out, measure it round the edge with your string, cut your string at the right point, and then measure that string using a ruler. Okay, and then have a look, see what you notice about the size of your circumference and the diameter. Okay. So I look forward to seeing your photos for today, especially seeing as you've got a little practical challenge to have a go at. Um, hope you all have a lovely weekend and I will see you all on Monday.